from our darkest times we find. Light. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today I'm gonna be doing another sort of drawing challenge type video, and I'm going to be creating propaganda posters. Well, a propaganda poster. <laughs> I wanted to get back into doing some more digital painting because I haven't done it in quite a while, and with physical painting, I tend to do pretty flat colors, pretty graphic style, which is what I like. But I wanted to do, you know, a little bit more of a traditional kind of acrylic style painting. And uh, I'm not as good at that in physical mediums. I'm much better at it with digital painting. So that's what I'm gonna be going back into and doing some procreate art for you guys right now. So recently, I've been re-watching Avatar The Last Airbender, which is just a fantastic show. I've always loved it. And uh, I had this idea for a piece of I wanted to do based on the blue spirit mask you know just a it's a really interesting style and I like the mask from the blue spirit a lot I think it's a really cool aesthetic and uh, so I wanted to combine those two things into a painting for y'all today also something else that happened recently I wanted to say thank you guys so much because I recently crossed over a hundred subscribers which is huge for me I, I know that that's not like a ton of subscribers and I know that it's not like a huge deal for a lot of YouTubers but I never knew how far this would go or if it would go anywhere and it's just wild to me to think that there's over a hundred people that <laughs> like my content enough to watch it very regularly so um, just thank you guys so much thank you thank you thank you I really really appreciate it and I will be coming out with a, a video sort of soon to commemorate the hundred subscribers thing and do something that's a little bit relevant to it um, but I need to figure out how to get all those logistics running. And with that out of the way, let's get into it, shall we? The greatest part about digital painting and the number one way to create these paintings quickly and efficiently is to block in your base and create clipping masks for each color so that when you're painting your highlights and shadows they stay within their respective shapes and it's easier to create your desired contours without having to do too much push and pull of your layers. This is why I can paint digitally and not so much physically, at least when it comes to realism. The other essential part to making amazing art is to make sure you always have some quality wheezy bumping at all times. You'll learn this on your first day of art school, so make sure you write that down. Once you have your base colors in place and you've set up your clipping masks for each layer, it's time to start blocking in the shading. I like to use three different values for my shading, starting with the lightest and moving towards an almost black value for this piece, as I wanted to have that propaganda poster intensity and shock value. I generally block in the initial shading values really rough and loosely just to get a feel for the light source and then I'll go in and refine them later. You'll see me coming in with those darker layers of shading, slowly blocking in the three-dimensional contours of the mask, which is why you'll occasionally see my initial line sketch popping in as I check the references for the different shapes. Working to that nearly black value that I'd mentioned but, and this is extremely important to getting a realistic shape with volume, making sure to leave spaces for the bounce light on the opposite edges of the mask from where the light source is coming from. At 
At first, I'm creating the bounce light contours with the eraser tool set to the acrylic brush for consistency, but after, I'll refine these edges with the smudge tool also set to the acrylic brush just to push the shading exactly where you want it to sit and to get a smooth gradient from the three different shadow values. However, depending on how produced you want the painting to look, I like to make sure I don't completely blend in the brush strokes so I can maintain that painterly texture that I think really adds to the piece since I'm not out here trying to make a 3D render. And once I'm happy with how the shading looks, it's time to do the exact same process for the highlights. With this piece, I only use highlights on the blue since the rest of the mask is white and that's the brightest value there is. As an extra bit of knowledge for the kids, it's generally a good idea to make your shadow values colder and less saturated than your base color and your highlights warmer and more saturated while leaving the bounce lights cooler. This gives the illusion of sunlight hitting the object. With the general shading now complete, it's time to make your brush size minuscule to really define the sharp contours. On this painting, that's mostly on the edges of the teeth and the edges where the white and blue areas meet. I like to go in with the darkest shadow value first and then slowly block in the lighter ones to smooth the transition. But remember, with sharp contours, you want the contrast to be fairly stark. Once I felt like I had finished the painting, I wanted to add an element to make it feel more like a poster or the cover of a magazine, so I added in this rectangle and colored it red, then went back and erased some parts so the mask shape would look like it was popping through this graphic element. But then I decided I wasn't actually finished with the painting because it felt too flat, so I went back in and added some simple graphic texture with the mountain ash brush to make it look like the mask was made of wood. And with that final piece to the puzzle in place, I felt like I was satisfied with my creation. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy. Well, there you have it, my peoples. The Blue Spirit propaganda poster is complete. And honestly, I loved how this one turned out. It was it was really nice to work on some digital painting like this. I haven't done it in a while. I kind of avoid doing it all too much on my YouTube channel here because normally when I do my digital painting, I really need to like zoom in on stuff and move the canvas around a lot and that looks terrible when I speed it up. So during this one, I specifically made sure to try to not move the canvas around a lot, which <laughs> was giving me friggin' <laughs> super bad anxiety because it's pretty hard to make sure that all your line work is very clean and your contours are very clean when you're not able to zoom in on stuff and check different angles and everything like that but I wanted to make it viewable for you guys. I also really liked how the simple texture came out on top for the wood texture because of it being a propaganda poster and everything and me using really bold stark contrast colors I still got to use a lot of the same sort of principles that I use in my normal work uh, which was nice because it was like fairly simple contours, uh, fairly simple shapes, fairly simple contrasted colors and only a few different colors. And then I just had to get the shading right, which is not something that I really struggle with all that much, to be honest. I, But when I was a younger man and I pretty much exclusively worked in ink and pen realism, shading was my like great obsession. So <laughs> I've done a lot of studying of shading in my life, even though that I don't use it like at all in my pieces like the Rat King and stuff like that anymore more just because it's a different style and it doesn't need that uh, but it's still it's still all up in there <laughs> I know how to I know how to make my shading look good anyways let me know what you guys thought of the piece in the comments below I know this one was a little bit different than a lot of the videos I've been putting out recently but it was just something I wanted to get back to because I hadn't done like I said I hadn't done much procreate painting in a while and I really enjoy doing it and uh, you know you can only do the same sort of style and same pieces so many times in a row before you got to take a quick break to not get burnt out before you go back to doing them so I just wanted to make sure that uh, this week I got out a video that was gonna be a little bit different so like I said let me know what you guys think of the piece down in the comments below let me know what you think of this style of video versus my normal style of video down in the comments below if you have any questions throw those down there too any comments Obviously, that's what they're there for. <laughs> and if you like the video, please give me a like. That would be fantastic. If you like me, if you like the channel and you wanna help support me, then the number one thing that you can do is to subscribe. I truly couldn't thank you enough. It would help me out a ton. So go ahead and do that for me, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, 
I guess there's no final shots to get into in this one. So with that out of the way, without further ado, have a great week till I see you guys next time, guys. Peace. You guys think she wants a belly rub?